Hi, everybody. It is 110 on this Wednesday, the 19th of January. Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. I'm Austin Reed coming to you from our Tower District studios inside the Mike Briggs building. We thank you for joining us. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Austin Reed on air. Hey, our next guest joining us live in our Tower District studios today. Give it up for Valerie Tornado Tim Enterprises, LLC. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity yeah, to share with you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your company. Well, actually, it is a new, newly launched company, and I am the CEO of one. <laughs> <laughs> We're growing, though. Mm -hmm. I launched in November, and I named it after my late husband, Tim Lyles, who was my inspiration. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't him coaching me. Uh -huh. Um, giving me the confidence to to take our little homemade novelty to retail market and um, it is now on Amazon and soon to be in other places and it's doing really well so show the box well this is our first product okay. and there'll be many this is the um, Kindle and Windle monster repellent kit okay. and we got through our um, young parenting lives with this because we had two boys that were afraid of monsters in the room. So it's a pretty common problem that parents have and we did try to do all of the psychological correct things by being, you know, supportive, showing them that there's nothing under their bed. Yeah. And then we realized that the thumping that he heard in this closet was real, but it was just the hot water heater. So we go into the bathroom, we turned on the water, open the closet door, showing him, uh -huh. you know, that's what you're hearing. And of course, their imagination is so wild. It's like, no, mommy, I heard growling too. So it was kind of hard to um, convince him that he, it was going to be okay. Then he starts seeing red eyes in the, in the window. Well, there was a street outside, and he was on a raised loft bed. So as he... Um, came screaming in our room we tried to do the logical thing again it just wasn't going to work so what's a parent to do if you can't beat them you join them yeah. so now it's a <laughs> battle of the imagination yeah. and i took a can of glade i wrapped it up and said i've got monster repellent and it worked from day one he slept like a baby and then before i know it i'm making it for friends and family and then it evolved and um actually kids are pretty smart so you can't just um leave it at that all of the why how where did you get it mm. and so then we um, came up with a story and kindle and Wendell are two brave little fairies that know all of the secrets okay. to ward off all that is scary so um in the kit, you get the rhyme and reason, okay. so it has the book that um, goes over how they make their monster repellent spray. All right. Oh, yeah, we're looking at some video right now, too. Yeah, that's what is in the box. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's Kindle and Wendell, two brave little fairies know all of the secrets to ward off all that is scary. <laughs> they collect flowers and spices and all that smells sweet to make up their potion to scare monsters they meet. For all in their magical land where they live, no monsters are frightened of the potion they give. So see, they have a little um, lemonade stand with monster repellent instead, and they're handing it out. There's a leprechaun and a unicorn and the tooth fairy. So they believe in all those, right. and it was easy to convince them, like, okay, this is something real. There's a story to go with yeah, it. Yeah. Um, the magical potion is sprayed all around, and we try to include all of the scary monsters. You know, zombies are popular these days, sure. but there's the traditional werewolf and vampire right. and ghost and goblins. And then, of course, they spray under their beds and into their closets to scare monsters away because they'll melt if they smell it. And then here's your very own potion to spray to scare all the monsters yeah. far, far away. And this is actually, I think that's the chupacabra. Oh, are, okay. are you familiar with the chupacabra? No, no but. Uh, <laughs> In the Central Valley, you should be. It's a. I'm not from Hispanic. here. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. that's it. But it's actually in the dictionary. So you oh, okay. can actually right. go look I've that up. I've got a new task to look into. <laughs> actually, yeah, my mother used that to get us home when there were no cell phones, you know. All right. Come home before dark. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. 
in the kit there is a small little monster repellent just for little ones' hands. Okay. And because it is small and they'll run out quickly, we also have some um, replenishment tablets. And you just crumble a little. And it's all um, safe ingredients. It's baking soda mm -hmm. and and scent. Okay. And you just sprinkle a little in an empty bottle with water and shake it up, and you've got a whole new batch of magic spray. I love it. Of course, you have Kindle and Windle mm -hmm. themselves. So... One glimpse of one of these, the monsters will run out of town. So little kids can put it in their closet or hook it on their blinds, put it under their pillow, of course, under their bed or in the bathroom, wherever monsters might be hiding. I do have a, a cute little story about these. Um, I have a big fan in a little great niece, mm -hmm. Parker Joy, uh -huh. and she believes in him. And she's also a sweetheart, so she wanted to take care of her grandmother. So she hooked Kendall onto her grandmother's purse. And then I ran into her at a graveside service, and uh -huh. here she is with her nice bag on her shoulder and Kendall oh hanging God. off of it. I guess <laughs> maybe Parker thought she might bring home some ghosts yeah, from the right. cemetery. <laughs> exactly. oh but, um, that's, a, that's a cute story. Yeah. Wow. So she's a fan. Um, one more thing, I had stinky boys. Now they're adults, mm -hmm. but to get them in the bath was also a trick. So <laughs> yeah, I just right. incorporated everything. Yeah. And that was the magic monster repellent bath balm. So once they took a bath with the bath balm, they became a monster repellent of themselves. So there weren't going to be any monsters on the whole block if they took a bath. So <laughs> no, they don't whatever have to, it takes. Don't have to worry. They're good. Right. So how, now how much is the box? Well, unfortunately, because it did get stuck in the water forever, the price went up. It, it's probably double of what I was going to charge. Uh -huh. But it does have a lot of components to it. Um, it is twenty nine ninety five on Amazon. Oh, um, well, it it was a surprise to me, <laughs> but it's it's doing well, mm -hmm. and I guess it, it's the way of the world these days. Everything's kind of gone up. I know, yeah. But but, but uh, still, that's an affordable price and. Uh, Age groups, best age groups for this, would you say? You know, it really does depend on your child. Mm -hmm. My oldest was, I don't know where he got his fear from, but he was only like two and a half. But he was pretty mm -hmm. articulate at a young age, too. Mm -hmm. And then the older one, perhaps because he had an older brother to depend on, wasn't as scared. And he probably, well, he always played it brave, too. Mm -hmm. He wasn't afraid, but I'd smell the spray all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, it, it really depends on your child. And then again, I did have concerns about making kids that weren't afraid mm. afraid. But um, they have been just playing with it like anything else, you know. Yeah. Just there are more stories that are going to come up that have more of the um, – social aspect of it mm -hmm. so um it will also have to do with bullies and okay. um the next story is about um kindle and Wendell being called to help uh cupid because all of his arrows had been disappearing and he wasn't able to spread love and kindness in the world this year <laughs> it kind of sounds real huh? yeah 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 <laughs> and um once they found the um green-eyed monster who was jealous of everybody that had loving kindness in their life and they sprayed him he didn't actually melt he just had the ugly melt away and he actually was a pretty cool little guy so it's it's got a lot of um facets to it and the age group is really dependent on right. i think what they're understanding the situation is yeah. with, with in their house and, and whatnot um so now okay so uh people can buy it on amazon like you said yes um 29.99 correct and uh more to come like you said yes um i am working on a set of plush of the kindle and windle because some little People are trying to take their spray to bed with them, and then they end up waking up because they're lying on a, a, a bottle of <laughs> yeah. spray. So yeah. these plushes will have a quick draw pouch, and they can hold on to a nice little soft character and then have their monster repellent in the, the little pouch so they can access it 
quickly if they wake up and decide they need it. So very good. Um, besides, yeah, and then there's other stories. Like I said, I have eight other stories that are spread out during the different holidays and stuff. Okay. Um, tailored to them, like you know the. As I was telling you, the Central Valley monster in the Hispanic population, anyhow, is the chupacabra. And during the Cinco de Mayo festival, they went to go break the pinatas, but there's no candy in them. You know, what could have happened? Did the chupacabra come and <laughs> suck the pinatas dry? Yeah. I, you know, that's part of You'll have to look up the chupacabra. I will, I will, yeah. That. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I'm totally interested in that now, so. Yeah, so, um, yeah, and then the nice thing, too, is it all comes in an easy-to-carry little suitcase, so you can take it to Grandma's house or wherever you're going to be spending the night and keep everything organized and together. My daughters are five uh, twins, so they, yeah, so my my mind is like, I got to get that for them. (laughs) Their birthday's coming up in May, so it would be a good good present, you know. That would be awesome. Um, okay, and then you guys are also obviously on uh, Facebook and Instagram. People can connect with you there. Yes, um, and then this morning I just found out that um, I've been accepted to be put onto some other e-commerce platforms, which oh. would be Walmart. Okay. Oh wow! Wayfair. I only thought they sold furniture and household goods, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Wayfair and then a Kroger. And okay. I don't think we have any Krogers around here. I may be mistaken. I don't know. I haven't seen any. But um, that will be good. And uh, more to I've come. Had, yep. There, more to come. There will be more to come. Uh, Valerie, good to meet you. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. So. Yes, hopefully uh, somebody will pick it up and make a cartoon out of it. Because no, that would be saying. that would be awesome. <laughs> idea, <Yes>. <laughs> idea, everybody. <laughs> thanks again. Thank Appreciate you. It. All right, I'm Austin Reed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. Uh, thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. Beautiful day here in Fresno. Highs will be in the uh, upper 50s. Enjoy it.